Hi everyone, this is Brandy. Um, I'm Brandy Collinborn with Brush by Brandy. I'm a furniture painter out of Sacramento, California. Um, and I'm here to do some paint blending with you guys for um, it's Dixie Bell week on how to paint like a pro. And I'm so excited to be here in one of my favorite groups with my favorite paint brand. So, um, to, <laughs> hi everyone. Um, I have my, I'm here by myself today. Usually I have a camera person, but this morning I'm going to do this by myself because my kids are at school and my husband's at work. Hi, Gail. Um, so hi, Jackie. Yay, Mark. Um, so I am going to be doing some paint blending today and we're going to be doing an exciting giveaway, which is kind of a funny story I'll share with you guys. Um, and I want to share with you, this is the look we're going to be working on here. So you guys have seen me do blending before. Um, and this is a little bit different than um, the technique I used before. So I'm just going to show you um, a little bit different technique. This one's a little bit more subtle, I think. Um, just, just getting a good highlight in there instead of an all-over blended look. Um, so this is the piece I'm going to be working on today. The one right next to this. This is a set of nightstands I'm actually doing for my sister. So this is the one we're going to be working on today. Um, all I have on here is a base coat, and it's not even a very good base coat. Um, I uh, dropped some wood stain on it right here, and it's, you know, just kind of put on there. And um, the main point of it was to just get some coverage on there. So um, last night after I put my base coat on, I store my paintbrushes in the refrigerator just in a Ziploc baggie overnight. The reason I do that is because a brush can hold a lot of paint. And so rather than rinsing it out and then refilling my brush, um, I just store them in the, in the refrigerator overnight in a Ziploc baggie. So um, we're going to be giving away some Dixie Belle paint today. And when Dixie Belle said that I can give away the products that I'm using, I don't think they knew what products I would be using because I'm not using a solid color. I'm using a mix. And um, my mix color happens to be five Dixie Belle paint products. So it's your guys' lucky day. Because that means for my giveaway, I get to give away five Dixie Belle paint colors. Um, so this is the color that I mixed up here. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I got a good laugh. I was like, are you sure I can do that? Um, so this is the color I mixed up here. And it's kind of a medium blue. Um, I had mixed some for the piece that I just did for the Jennifer Allwood's Paint Finish of the Month Club. And I had extra left over. Um, it was more on the green side, so I added a little blue to this one um, and made a color now for a whole nother piece. So with this color here, I like these mini kitchen spatulas, by the way, for mixing. I never knew what they were for in my kitchen, but they work great for painting. Hi. Hi, everyone. Um, okay, so, so for our giveaway today, I'm going to give away the colors that made up my custom mix here. So we're going to call it Brandy's Mystery Color here. And I'm going to tell you guys what it is right now, but um, I'm going to mention it very sparingly what this mix is during the process. And then at the end, if you can come back to me and rename my custom mix, you will win those colors on there. So here it is. Pay attention, guys. You'll need to know this for later. It's a test. So, uh, my custom mix has mermaid tail in it, peacock, evergreen, bunker hill blue, and caviar. Okay, can you guys remember that? These are my five Dixie Belle paint colors that went into my custom mix. Five colors, you guys. All the great blues and greens all in here. And you guys can win those if, at the end when I ask the question, if you can name what was in my custom mix. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So this is the piece I'm working on. I'm going to turn it a little bit so you can see it better. Okay. Can you guys see that okay? Yeah, that's better. All right, I just paint with um, Wooster Shortcut brushes. And um, I love using Dixie Belle paint. This is the Dixie Belle paint card. It has 60 colors on it, you guys, and this isn't even all their colors. There's metallics in their line. There's tons of other products in here, but I love it because not only are these 60 colors your option, but everything that you can imagine in between is your option too, because you can blend and mix colors to create 
any shade in between. If you want to add a slight undertone or, um, you know, a custom color, the possibilities are endless. And because this is such a complete line, there's really no limit to the amount of colors that you can get out of mixing with Dixie Belle. So, um, like I said, I have a single base coat on here. And before I get started on the second coat, I'm sorry, you guys, again, I don't have a camera person with me today. Before I get started on a second coat, I use a fine sanding sponge. This is probably a 120 grit, but it's so worn that it's like a 220 grit now. And I'm just brushing my piece. I'm not trying to sand it. I'm just trying to knock down any, you know, particles of dust that might have got stuck in my paint coat. Um, any high points in my paint, I'm just knocking those down. Okay. Once I've got my um, paint nice and smooth, I just take a damp rag, I just spritz this with some water, and I'm just going to wipe away that dust. I just feel it with my hand, and I've got a really nice smooth surface. So this is ready for a second coat of paint. Um... Before I do a second coat, I spritz my surface with water. I'm not trying to dilute my paint. I'm just trying to lubricate my surface a little bit so my brush glides in here. I'll bring you guys in a little bit closer while I'm working so I won't be on the camera. Um, yes, you guys, I named the colors in this custom mix. And if you guys can come on at the end of this broadcast, I'm going to ask the question, what was in my custom mix? Um, and if you can come on and name what was in my mix, this custom color that I'm using, this beautiful, like teal, deep, rich blue, you guys can win the five colors. There's five. That was a hit. The five colors that are in my custom mix. So you guys have seen me do paint blending with several different colors. Today, I'm really going to only use two, and that's my custom mix. And then I'm going to use a color, a lighter shade for a highlight. So um, what I did here, I spritzed this with water, and I just got a nice coat, clean coat on here. My highlight color that I chose for this is Dixie Belle Dried Sage. Um, and I like this color because it's kind of a warm beigey color. The more stark the contrast is between your um, blended colors, the, um, the harder it will be to blend them. So... You know, I could use a stark white on here, but it would be really hard to get a nice blend between the colors because the contrast is so great. So I'm just going to take a clean brush. So I had a brush for my blue and now I've got a brush for my dried sage. And I'm just going to dip it in here and I barely, I don't want very much on my brush. So I'm going to just add, did you guys freak out a little bit when I did that? I'm just going to add a highlight to the center of this drawer. Okay. So many times I see people do this and then they will leave it. And that's not blended, you guys. When you put something in a blender, it become they become one. They become unrecognizable as two separate things. So we really want to blend these colors. I'm not going to be afraid to brush these into each other. I don't want them to stay pure. If I can tell where the division is between these colors, then I haven't blended them. Um, one thing I like to do is use a vertical paint stroke, a vertical brush stroke, and get those colors mixed into each other, and then I'll come back horizontally and brush them back again. So can you see how smooth that transition looks now? Look how, I mean, that was a really fast process. Now I'm going to come back with my brush with my blue on it, and I'm going to clean up the edges because I want those to be a little bit more dramatic. So I'm just going to add some blue to around the edges. And I'm going to brush that into the center where my highlight is. Um, along the edges here, I'm just going to use a really soft brush stroke. And you guys, come on and let me know what piece you're working on. If you've used Dixie Belle paint before, do you have a favorite color? Um, I'm really fond of the blues. It's what my eye tends to be drawn to, so I do a lot in the blues. Um, they also sell really well for me. Blue can be neutral or it can be a the pop of color for as an accent in your room. I'm going to come up here and just do this 
the rest of my body on this one is just a clean color. So you guys have seen me do blending using several different colors. And this is honestly a more basic look. It's a little bit more subtle that just gives you this highlight. Let's come down here and do it. I'm going to repeat this process a few times just so you guys can see it being done over and over again and how simple it is. So again, I just spritzed my surface with some water. Now I'm giving it another coat of my base color. You want to keep your brush nice and dry. I love um, Dixie Belle because for blending because it has such a long open life. You guys can see how long afterwards I come back and play with this paint and it stays open. I'm not pulling up any of my base paint and my top color stays um, malleable while I blend my colors, which is really important. You don't want your paint to be getting sticky when you're trying to blend your colors. Oh, Janice, I love Stormy Seas. It's one of my favorite. You make it look so easy. It really is, you guys. I almost feel bad doing a video on this because it really is so easy. Okay, so I have my clean coat on here, and I'm going to come back and put my highlight in there. Look how scary that looks. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to brush these together. You guys don't want to know where one stops and one starts. It's going to stay stronger in the middle where I put that fresh stripe of color, and then it's going to start to fade out to the blue. And then I came back and I did a vertical brush stroke just to really mix those colors in together and then brush it horizontal again. And even right there, I've got a really nice look, but I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna add some of my darker color just along my edges to really make those pop. Cause we did get a little bit of the dried sage out onto the edges when we were mixing that. And I really want that to stay pretty pure. Um, the other difference with this is uh, my base coat is a single solid color. You can, I also do blending sometimes where my base coat is, is blended as well. This one, I like that it's a little bit more streaky. It's a little bit more imperfect. It doesn't have that blended base coat. So I can see the blue, you know, peek through underneath. And um, I, I really want it to look like maybe this part of the drawer was just worn more than the rest. So I think the main point is to just make sure that you're not leaving that stark contrast between your colors. Let's come down. I'll back you guys up so you can see the bottom of this. Let's come down and do this bottom one. You guys see how fast I'm going through this whole piece? I'll turn and do the sides too so you'll see this. By the, by the end of this video, you're going to be able to repeat this, I promise. Okay. So again, I misted my surface, just giving it a clean coat. It doesn't have to be thick. I actually got really good coverage with my first coat. Um, so I'm just laying on some fresh paint. Sorry guys, I have to read these at the same time because I'm trying to paint and I usually have my husband here, but he works an office job. So um, it's hard for me to go live during the day because he's gone. Um, my kids are at school right now. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I have three boys. Um, I love seeing, you know, how many painters are stay-at-home moms and get to do this and, you know, be home with our kiddos, too. Um, so again, I'm using Dixie Belle paint and I'm using a mystery color. This is my mystery mix, Brandy's mystery mix. We're going to be giving away, there's five colors that went into my mix today, you guys. Five. Do you remember what they are? Um, this is the Dixie Ball paint card. It was five of these colors. I mentioned them at the beginning, and at the end, I'm going to ask you guys what they were. And if you can come on and name them, you'll be entered to win the colors in my mystery mix, which made this beautiful blue. There's so many colors in this line that if a color doesn't exist, you can create it. There are really no limits because they've created such a good base in the line for you guys. Okay, so I just brushed on my dried sage. You know, honestly, it doesn't even look bad just like that. But then I'm going to come back. Oh, I forgot to do my vertical brush strokes. And I did, I do notice the difference. It just, 
um, takes those colors together a little bit more. I don't want to see a line where one stops and one starts. Okay, and then I'm coming back with my darker color and just brushing that along the edges. You want to make sure you have some consistency from your drawers, that they look fairly consistent, and I like the consistency in these. I'm going to come down here and give my bottom just a fresh coat of the blue, and then I'll turn this and we'll do the side, which is a little bit different kind of surface because it's more of a broad open area. Um, I'm going to top coat this. My original piece, my example piece, doesn't have a top coat on it. I'm going to use Dixie Belle flat top coat on these. Um, I want the flat look like a wax might give, but with the protection of a top coat, of a clear coat. Deanna, is you're an empty nester right now? Oh my gosh, I'm going to die when my kids leave. I don't even know what to do without them. Um, I know, paint a lot. I'm going to paint a lot. Are you using a dry brush and just wetting the surface? Yes. Um, my paint is not diluted. I'm not doing it to dilute my paint. I'm just doing it so my um, brush glides a little easier. So that's all that Mr. Water is for. Um, I say it's just to lubricate my surface a little bit. Um, I always do that on a second coat, even if I'm not blending, and it just helps the brush glide a, a little bit smoother. Dixie Belt is self-leveling paint, so um, you really don't get any brush strokes. The only thing you want to be careful of is you're not spraying onto the area that you just painted because you will leave watermarks in it. So let's turn this and work on the side. These are huge nights. Thank you, Sherry. Okay, can you see that? I'm gonna, again, mist my surface just with a little bit of water. And I'm coming back with my mystery mix color, this deep, rich teal blue that I blended. It's a blend of five Dixieville paint colors that you guys can win if you can come on at the end of this and name what was in my custom mix. Five colors in there, you guys. So again, I'm just putting a clean coat on this. Um, you'll see I'm kind of brushing horizontally, but I will come back and clean that up with a vertical brush stroke. I dig it into some of these crevices. I mean, you guys, I'm brushing through this right now, and already my paint is super smooth on here. It's a beautiful coat. You know, even just like this would be a beautiful paint finish. So then I'm going to come back with my highlight color that I've been using, which is Dried Sage. Um, I like dried sage. It's kind of a, a muted beige color. And I'm going to put that highlight right in the center. And I want it to come over to the edges. I don't want it to be just... Oh, I turned off my auto still. I'm sorry, you guys. There we go. Okay, sorry. I turned off autofocus and it still wants to focus on... The movement okay so you see I just put that highlight there it doesn't look very good but I see I see this left like this a lot it drives me nuts you guys it drives me nuts so then I'm going to come back and I'm going to brush them together the opposite direction and then I'll clean it up and go back to my vertical I'm using vertical brush strokes here because this is a long narrow section and my brush strokes going vertical makes a little bit more sense I'll come back with my darker color, and I'm just going to re-emphasize the edges of this paint. I'm going to brush it into my um, highlight color, the dried sage. Um, this is great on this piece because it's got these nice curves. And you really notice them with that highlight there in the middle. You guys see that? 
um, my tops on these. I stripped and I sanded them down to the wood. Um, I'm going to finish these up probably today, and then I'll be able to post the final look on this thread so you guys can see what we created. But my tops on these were stained with um, Dixie Belle No Pain Gel Stain and Espresso. Um, this is a nice, rich color. And then I also wanted to mention, before I started on this, I also cleaned my project with um, Dixie Belle White Lightning. This is like a granulated product, and I love this stuff because I um, mix it into a spray bottle of water, just like the one I've been using today. I mix it into a spray bottle of water, and it cleans, cuts through everything. Um, it's a TSP mix, um, a TSP base in here. But um, I get probably like eight water bottles full out of this little container, and it's so inexpensive. Where do I get my pieces from? Um, I look constantly, and I get, you know, I usually have the best luck, all the same places everybody does. Um, Craigslist, Offer Up, Facebook Marketplace. I have a few connections with people who buy like storage lockers, and th that's just talking to customers when I go out to pick up pieces and finding out how they get their pieces, and you can make some good connections that way. Um, Why did I see on this piece? Um, uh, well, let's see. When are you talking about sand? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Why did I sand this piece? I'm talking about the top. I tip this top down. I want to get to the bare wood. If I tip this top down, can you guys see without my drawers falling out? It's wood stained with a leaf on top of it. Um, so that was where the, the gel stain came in. I did not sand the rest of my piece. The rest of my piece was not sanded. You guys may also notice that when I painted this today that I left my drawers in. And usually if I'm doing a solid color, I will take my drawers out. Um, I leave my drawers in when I'm blending so that I can get a nice, consistent, smooth finish across the front of my piece. And then I will come back afterwards and pull my drawers out. And like I'm doing now, I will touch up my drawer edges and then I'll pull them out and I'll touch up um, around the, the body as well. So you don't want to make sure you miss those. You want to make sure you don't miss those spots. I'm using my mystery color mix of five Dixie Belle paint colors. It's got some blues and greens in here. Thank you, Fiona, for posting the link. Yeah, you know what? I hear about I hear about furniture finds internationally that it just gets a little skinny sometimes. So, honestly, that was a really simple look. I guess I'll turn this and do this other side so you guys can see it one last time. And then we've literally finished this piece. We will have finished this piece and what have I been on? Um, but just a few minutes to get this look. So I'm misting my surface with some water. Hi. Will you coat your piece in wax? I'm not gonna use wax on this one. And the reason is, it's for my sister. Um, and she has pets in her house. And you know, I, I, um, I don't know how well she's gonna wanna maintain a wax finish and how well it will hold up in her home. So I'm thinking about who my customer is and what type of top, top coat might be best for her environment. So I love Dixie Belle waxes. They're a nice, really soft wax. For this piece, I'm gonna use their matte top coat. And I will wipe that on with a Dixie Belle application sponge. But I am gonna add some wax over that just for detailing, um, just to help accentuate some of these curves and stuff. So. There will be some wax in my finish, but my actual top coat is going to be um, Dixie Belle matte top coat. Okay, so there's my nice clean finish. Clean coat of my mystery color. I wish I could add an effect when I say that, like mystery color. Thanks, Mark, for joining. Oh, thank you, Fiona, for the reminder. Um, you guys, Zebra Paintbrushes is doing a, um, a contest right now. I'll post the link on this thread when I'm done. And it's their one-of-a-kind contest. Um, it's the viewer's choice. There are 40 amazing pieces, you guys, and I was lucky enough to have one of my pieces chosen in their top 40 of hundreds of entries. 
I entered three pieces and they really chose the most non-traditional, I think, of the, of the pieces that I entered. Um, I'm lucky number five, but if you go into the Zipper um, brush site on their blog, you can vote for these 40 pieces and there's some amazing artists in there. You get to pick your top three pieces. And then they're giving away some prizes. So you guys can win prizes for voting and then the artists can win prizes for their pieces as well. So again, lucky number five. Thank you for voting, you guys. I'm so excited about it. I really would be totally honored because there's so, so many talented artists, artists in there. Just looking through the pieces, I'm blown away. So I would be completely honored to even be considered, but... Um, yeah, thank you for the reminder, Sian. I totally, I've been so busy lately. <laughs> I'm like trying to keep my head above water. Um, I just turned in my video this morning, my edited video for Jennifer Allwood's paint finish of the month for the month of April. Um, and then I'm trying to do more lives for Dixie Belle and on my own page. So a lot of exciting things happening. I'm grateful for every single one. What's the site name? It's um, the the brand of it's a paintbrush brand called Zibra Z I B R A. I'll post the link here when I get off. Um, so I'm not kidding you guys. We just did that whole piece. What have I been on? Half an hour? Half an hour? And I got this beautiful look on here. It's a very subtle look, but then once I add some waxes around the edges of these highlights. Um, it's just really going to look super curvy. And my um, hardware on this is these Hepple White poles. I still need to clean them, but I mean, that's going to be gorgeous. The dark color against there with some dark waxes. Thank you for the link, Fiona. Man, you make this so easy. So anyway, you guys, so um, that was my... This was a, a very simple blending technique. You guys have seen me blend with multiple colors, but this was blending really with two colors. I used my, my body coat, my mystery mix. And then I used um, ah, Dixie Belle Dried Sage. So those are the only colors that we used to get this really subtle highlighted effect. Um, I have another piece I'm going to be posting at this same look too, so you'll really get to see what this does in a finished piece. Um, so as we get to the end, you guys, and wrap this up, um, I told you that our giveaway today was going to be if you could name the five colors that are in my beautiful blue mystery mix. Do you guys remember what they are? So it's five Dixie Belle paint colors. I'm going to give you a clue right now. Caviar, Bunker Hill Blue, Evergreen, Peacock, and Mermaid Tail. Okay, that's my mystery mix, you guys. That created this beautiful blue color because not only do you have 60 paint colors to choose from on the Dixie Belle line, you have all the in-between colors that you can imagine. They mix beautifully. So, um, come on to the thread and let me know if you guys have... Ah, Hey, Gigi, hang on at the end of the broadcast. <laughs> These are great colors, though, you guys. Um, um, so come on and let me know if you guys have any questions about this look. When I get this finished, I will post the finished pictures to this thread. Um, all right, ready, set, go. What's my mystery mix, you guys? Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon.